Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, there's been some questions in the group regarding uh, homing, homing switches, uh, how do I get it to home, things like that. So, a while back, I made a video on how to do that, how to virtually home it. But I was watching some other videos and um, I found out a better way to do this, to have it home, um, move out of the way, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this on your engraver and it is really simple to set this up. Alright, so as you can see, um, I've got my engraver set up and it is currently homed, okay? And what I did was I used the width of a popsicle stick in front of the uh, engraver and laser and to the side of the laser. So it's a popsicle stick width away from the side and from the front. Now you can use, um, you know, whatever you want. Uh, you can use a pen, pencil, popsicle stick, whatever, just to set a home position. Now, when you uh, turn on the engraver and fire up Lightburn, wherever the laser currently is sitting, that's zero, zero. Okay, so that's considered its home. So, as long as your laser is in the corner, in the left corner, and you turn everything on, it's technically home. So, how do we set that in Lightburn? Because, as you know, the homing button doesn't work. Okay, because it's, it's disabled, because you don't actually have homing switches. So, if I go over here, and you see saved positions, I go to manage, let me move this out of the way, <clears throat> I go to manage and I'm going to add a new position. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in home. Okay, and I say okay. So now you see I have a home position up here. Now you say, well, that's well and good, but it's homing to the front and it's going to be in my way when I'm trying to move my, my piece, my material or whatever. All right. So if that's the case, then what you can do is you can have a move out of the way spot. All right. So what we do is we click the the little marker over here under the A, click the marker, and I'm going to set the laser over there. Now, as you can see, the laser moved and it's out of the way. So, what I can do is I can add another spot, move this away again, and I'm going to add new, and I'm going to just call this out of the way. All right, and then click OK. So now, let's say I'm going to get ready to engrave a piece and I, I need it in the home spot. So have home selected here and click go. And you see it moves back home. All right, so now you have a home position and you have a get out of the way position. So let's say you are going to engrave something and let's just do something simple here. I'm going to engrave, just say I'm going to make a square for example. All right, so now I'm going to, to make things easy, I'm going to move this right there. Okay, so that the center of the square 
is on those uh, crosshairs that are on the grid. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to move the laser so that it is centered over my material. All right. So what I can do is keep your eye on that. What I can do is I can take my pointer thing, my marker, and I can go and click right there. And as you can see, it's going to move to that spot. Then what I can do is if I was going to engrave it, I can, um, I can move my piece of wood if I wanted to, if I needed to, I can move the piece of wood and center it under the engraver. Okay. And I have the laser unhooked for this uh, demonstration. So now let's just say um, when I want, when I'm done, I don't want the laser to come back home. I want it to come back up here somewhere out of my way. So what I can do is I can click the home, click out of my way, and see here it says set finish position. So if I do that, now watch what happens. If I home, go back to home, All right, now I move this up here. So now I'm going to burn my square and watch what happens. So it goes, it'll just take a minute to burn the square. As I said, the laser's turned off, it's unplugged. So now we wait for it to finish. Okay. And see what it did? It moved out of the way. So now you can move that piece, that piece of material out, put a new piece down, and then you can start again. Okay. Or to make sure that everything is good, you can come back over here, go back to home, and set your material, and then you can frame it and do whatever. Okay, so that's that's a way to set up a um, a virtual home, and you can set up as many positions in here as you want okay now the only thing you have to make sure before you do this is that you are at absolute coordinates okay so start from absolute coordinates and that you do not move the laser by hand at all okay because if you do that it's going to mess it up so to kind of recap you want to make sure that before you turn on the laser and before you start light burn up that the uh, laser in is in the home position that you that you set up okay like I said I use a popsicle stick width between the front and the side for it all right and then I'm going to come over here to saved positions I'm going to go to manage and then I added the home position and clicked OK and then I moved the laser using the pointer over here and I clicked it over here and then I set that as out of the way. Okay, so if my piece is large, 
and I don't want to be reaching over the over the gantry you can have it out of the way and then I set the out of the way position as my set finish position so I moved the laser I'll show you again I moved the laser to out of the way okay and then I clicked over here and set finish position so now when it's done engraving that's where it's gonna go okay so and then as I mentioned you can if you have a project you can use the on the center of your project you can use the uh, marker click to the um, center of your project and that will move the laser to the center and then you can center your piece your work piece under the laser and use the um, the frame so that you can see where it's going to frame the piece where you know where it's actually going to engrave and you can move your material accordingly all right so that's how you can do it and if you have any questions regarding this um, you know how to you know if you have any questions setting it up getting started with it or whatever um, please feel free to ask me leave me a comment or ask me in the um, official group for scope fund users and we'll be happy to help you all right thank you for watching and have a great day.